My name is Wamai Mwangi, a director at Greco Limited in charge of commercial. So today we are here at Kahonoki area in Moranga County where we have come to assess the performance of a diesel JD pump and long-range rain gun sprinklers. The crop that has just been planted here, as you can see, is Lusan for, for cattle. And the best way to irrigate Lusan, because it's a close-knit line crop, is to use overhead irrigation. And the sprinklers work really well with, uh, with Lusan. Our JD pump has an engine capacity of 35 horsepower. It has a flow rate of 120 cubic liters per hour and a head of 120 meters. If you look at this slope, it's quite a steep slope. This slope is uh, more than 50 meters to the top. So at a head of 120, we are comfortably able to irrigate very well here with the right pressure. It's a diesel pump and it's operated by one operator. It requires huge volumes of water. This is where we have the dam right there. When selecting an irrigation system and also a water pump to use for your farm or your crop, there are various factors to consider. The first factor is the volume of water. For you to use this size of a pump, you need to have a lot of water at your disposal. Secondly, you need to look at the elevation, which determines the head of the pump that you're going to use. Thirdly, you consider the acreage that you're irrigating. The larger the acreage, the larger the pump, the larger the sprinkler system that you're going to use. And you also consider the cost, the operational cost of that machine that you're using. Because the larger it is, of course, the more consumption you have for diesel service and things like that. You also need to look at the expertise at your disposal. Do you have the right expertise to operate the machinery that you're about to, to bring in? Security comes in well. If you look at the structure that we have here, it's a very secure structure. The, the roof is all concrete, very secure uh, steel door, and it means that the pump remains here continuously. You don't have to move it because of its size. It's immobile, so it needs to be very well secure. Now, the acreage that you're using determines the pipe size that you're going to use. So the larger the acreage, the greater the pipes that you're going to have. So in this farm, we are looking to irrigate a maximum capacity of 30 acres in the long run. And this is why we have the 4-inch and the 3-inch main lines lying in the farm. When doing your hydrants, hydrants are the points at which you connect your your long-range ring and sprinkler right. to, the, to the piping system, you must consider the, the radius of irrigation. So the greater the radius, the, the greater the space between the, the hydrants and, and vice versa. So in this case, we're able to achieve a radius of 35, 35, mit, uh, 35 meters per uh, sprinkler. And because the two of them have to overlap, we have our hydrants at a spacing of 20 meters so that when the two sprinklers are operating, they are able to overlap and we do not have any blind dry spots during irrigation. So the end of the sprinkler, we have pins that are used to adjust the direction of the sprinkler. So if for instance, you do not want your water to exceed a certain point, you adjust the pins accordingly. It is you as the farmer who determines what degree you want your sprinkler to irrigate at, depending on the layout of your farm. It ranges from five degrees all the way to 360 degrees so karibu sana grecon thank you